Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here on the live stream on this Saturday, May 29th, 2021, about 6.40 p.m. West Coast time. The latest quake, a 2.8 out there around the Pecos, Texas area once again. Quite, uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity over the past few months out there in Texas. Some further movement south of the border, uh, south of the border in California. Let's go ahead and check out some of that uh, detailed map here on the USGS map. I know, I know uh, these guys aren't the most truthful when it comes to putting out earthquakes, but it's uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> what else do we have? EMSC, but EMSC is a kind of a, a little sketchy on the on their um, magnitudes and whatnot and and their depth. It, the USGS may take a while for uh, the earthquakes to pop up on the map and whatnot, uh, and they downgrade and upgrade too, so, you know, just got to use what we got, right? There is that earthquake out there around the Pecos, Texas area, a 2.8, nothing big. Uh, in fact, over the last 24 hours there, this is the only earthquake in that region, and this is the all-magnitudes map. Uh, over here along the west coast region, the, there's that earthquake I talked about there in uh, uh, the Mexico region, south of the border. 3.3 at about 15.8 kilometers. Uh, not a whole lot of movement down here in Southern California, but we are looking looking at a little bit. A little swarming just off the Imperial Fault System. That's going to be this dark uh, plate boundary right here. This dark, uh, well, it disappeared now. There we go. Little little cluster just off there. Uh, Salton Sea looks pretty clear. No uh, swarming or anything around that region. The rest of the San Andreas Fault, the Sleeping Giant, looks quiet for now. Uh, some further movement along the San Jacinto Fault and also a little bit of uh, swarming going on here. Looks like, uh, what is that, Beauty Mountain? Never heard of it. Beauty. Uh, moving up to the North Ridgecrest. Pretty quiet tonight, folks, compared to last night's uh, activity, uh, including up here to the... Uh, to the north, Nevada is pretty quiet. Still seeing a little swarming out here in this little area. Not for sure what's going on. Um, just some microquake activity being confined to roughly uh, one spot out there. Of course, Long Valley Super Volcano sits over here. They call Dara. A little bit of movement uh, in that region, but uh, overall, looks like typical average earthquake activity there around Long Valley. Lake Tahoe, things calming down. Uh, only three microquakes within the last 24 hours. And of course, the geyser uh, area. I'm, gonna, I'm taking a trip down here pretty soon, folks, to so check out their, uh, check out the activities down there with the dry steam that they use um, to produce energy and whatnot. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited. I want to, I want to, uh, I want to do that pretty soon. Little earthquake outside of Ukiah, 1.7. Uh, some further movement up here along the southern end of the Cascadia, right around the triple point, um, in the single triple point junction area, 2.2, um, about 19 kilometers or so below the surface. Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Just a little small microquake outside of Mount Rainier near Ashford. Intermountain West region, pretty quiet as well, folks. Look up here, nothing, zero, no microquakes to report at all within the Idaho, Utah area, and uh, includes Montana and Wyoming, pretty quiet. Uh, a little bit of movement out in Oklahoma, but that swarm seems to be dying down out there around Quinton. Internationally, uh, what else we got here? Japan, uh, I was, I was kind of expecting something bigger to happen with that swarm of activity we were watching uh, over the past day, things calming down though. A couple fours up there off the coast, just to the north of the area we were watching. And um, yeah, just quiet, folks. Um, really, things really quieting down along the Solomon Islands, Samoa, Tonga, New Zealand area. Um, I'm sure there's some earthquake activity being reported, but uh, nothing above that 4.0 threshold that the USGS uses. Uh, what else we got here? A little bit of movement along the South America region. A couple fours, some pretty deep earthquake activity out here. Uh, trimmer map. Let's check this out real quick. Uh, no surprise there. No surprise. Zero epicenters, second day in a row. 
Yesterday we had zero as well. So, yeah, interesting. I, I kind of watch this activity. When, when we see heightened swarming up here, it seems like that's when we're getting a lot of the Intermountain West earthquakes, a lot of pressure being built up along the North American continent, which ultimately, um, you know, adding to that, uh, the slippage there, kind of kind of interesting how it all works just relatively quiet today for the most part on the uh, um, in the earthquake department everywhere uh, what else do we have here oh, man I can't think the heat the heat has been killing me today it only got up to uh, I think 97. Tomorrow's supposed to be cooking. We're underneath a heat, excessive heat warning. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about about it, but you know what? I'm, I'm tired of living in it. <laughs> no joke. So 105 tomorrow, 109 Monday, 109 Tuesday, and hundreds the rest of the week and into the weekend. Northern California weather end of May, early June. Uh, let's see. I don't, I'm not for sure what's going on there, folks, with the blotches. They're blotched, some type of blotch, uh, data blotch there. You can see it on all the seismographs. Not for sure exactly what it is, but, uh, nothing, nothing of, um, it's some type of weird interference there, but nothing from below. This one here, this map looks like it's completely squashed out. But uh, no signs of any type of earthquake activity, any type of uh, uh, magma movement, uh, and no uh, nothing, nothing to worry about, folks. Yellowstone is uh, currently sleeping. All right, folks, um, I'm going to call it a night. There's not a whole lot going on uh, in the solar weather department either. You can see the, uh, the sun up there. Everything kind of calming down on the KP index. Uh what, what do we got here? A long duration eruption measuring a C 9.4 was observed around uh, AR 2884. Uh, shows an impressive coronal mass ejection is associated, but that was away from us. Uh, however, the extreme edge of the CME could still deliver a glancing blow. I don't know, man. I don't. Look at that, that's pretty impressive there. If that thing was facing us, we'd definitely get hit. Not, not Nothing major, nothing that we haven't seen, but uh, that's a pretty good size CME right there. Let me tell you. Uh, C flare, 55% chance, look, looks like an M flare, 25% chance um, probability due to the uh, sunspots there, but uh, kind of way over there, facing away from us in a way, so. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there if you are out there enjoying the finer things in life. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.